What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be unboxing my first saltwater mystery tackle box and Loki's here too to help me do it. So um, I've had mystery tackle boxes in the past. I've done the uh, bass one and I've done the uh, panfish and trout one. Uh, and, and then I got a pro for my birthday from one of my friends, uh, a pro bass. So this is gonna be my first inshore saltwater one. And uh, so eventually after, uh, after I open this up and whenever we go down to the bay uh, next time, I'm gonna try to do a slam with this stuff. So after I open this up, I'm gonna kind of set it to the side uh, and keep it all together so I can do the mystery tack box inshore so, uh, slam with this stuff. Um, so let's get into it. Hopefully I don't get tired endangerment for holding a knife because YouTube has been hating me for no reason recently. So let's get this tape cut. Put that away so YouTube doesn't scream at me. So, first up in the box here, this is the regular, by the way, and I actually got this for a sale, uh, for about like ten dollars because there's a channel I uh, watch called Fat Belly Fishing, uh, and he he has one of the codes for it. So I used code Fat Belly, and I got ten bucks off. So there's actually a good amount of stuff in here. So first off, uh, in the box, I have some. What would you call these? Uh, live live bait hooks, live croaker hooks is what they're calling. That's a three pack, and that brand is Sandbar Tackle. These are just regular offset hooks, three yacht. Okay, can you not lick the camera, please? Thank you. All right, next off we have roadside minnows. Those don't look too bad. I've never seen this brand before. I'll zoom in, zoom in on them in the package and then I'm gonna take them out real quick. So. Nope, quit it. These are mine, not yours, mine. Let me pop these open. They smell kind of weird. Loki, no. So that's like in a green black color. They're just some nice paddle tails. Let's see what they call this color. This color is called Unnamed. All right. Interesting. So that's interesting. I'll, I'll be kind of excited to use these. These are some cool little green and black paddle tails. I've never seen this kind of color combination before. So I'm kind of excited to try these. Maybe I'll find out a new color that I like for the area we fish in. Just a square tail. Looks around three and a half inches maybe. So that's pretty cool. So next we have Savage Gear twitch reaper so i guess that's a twitch bait it says it makes some noise let me show it to you real quick what color is that first of all white glow and that's the color of that is white glow it kind of looks like a little shad or something it's probably gonna according to the name it might it might glow or something in the water uh so i can hear it making some noise so that's gonna be cool here's a savage gear twitch reaper so I'm going to be kind of scared to use this thing when we go down because we have a lot of oysters where we fish. So I'm not sure where I'm going to be able to fish this thing at. But it looks pretty promising. Nice color. So pretty happy. Next off we have Jig Para Micro. It's a little spoon. So that's pretty cool. Pretty tiny. Maybe catch some... Uh, little trout on that this thing i actually kind of like this thing it's like a little spoon uh and when you reel it that's gonna go kind of back there and give it a little bit more action hopefully this also looks like it might be pretty good for uh, i'm sorry guys i'm shaking too much it's a little cold uh this also should be good for bluegill and bass maybe too so it looks like the last thing we have in here is grande fishing five inch airtail shad shad spawn i'm guessing is that color is what it's saying those look pretty nice those are like pink color i actually really like this color uh i use salt strong lures and uh this is not sponsored by the way you know what i should try to get sponsored by them uh i use salt strong lures and slam shady power uh paddle tails are this sort of that color it's kind of like a pink i think these look more white but they have that nice glitter in them so 
uh, that's kind of the same, the same sort of color, and I actually like that. Oh, wow. So this kind of looks like a mixture between a jerk shad and, like, one of those weird paddle tails with the circle. Loki, back, back. Okay, so it looks kind of like a mixture between a jerk shad and then I don't know what you'd call those paddle tails with like that round sort of back on them. So that's pretty cool. That's Grande Fishing. Never heard of that brand either, of course. I don't know very many of these uh, saltwater brands except for, I know Savage Fair, I've heard of that before. Uh, so it looks like all in all we got one, two, three, four, five things. And so we also have this uh, little pamphlet they give you. Loki, can you move please? Thank you. They give you this little pamphlet that shows all of the things and what they cost. So I'm gonna run down that real quick. Savage Gear Twitch Reaper, 10 bucks. Wow. Uh, Major Craft Jig Para is what this is. That's six bucks. Uh, R Tail Shad, Grande Fishing R Tail Shad. These are gonna be five bucks. Roadside Minnows, Swim Bait, $5. And then wide gap hooks, one dollar. And next we have, oh, the dibble. So I'll be reading that. that it, the dibble is pretty much just like a little tips and tricks things that they give you. Uh, so it'll, it might show me how to use one of these lures. I'll be reading that pretty soon. Uh, and then the most important part of the entire box is the sticker. And so it says Bass Mobile. And then it has Catchco on there. And it has some little wheel on it or something. So, let's get y'all. So here's all we got here. We got roadside minnows. We got the dibble thing. Or, that's the dibble thing. Then we got hooks. Uh, spoon. Twitch bait. Paddle tails. So yeah, so yeah guys. Uh, I'm going to put all this stuff back in the box. And uh, I'm actually, I'm pretty happy with this. This is my first inshore uh, saltwater. Loki, quit that. This is my first uh, inshore saltwater box. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I got five things in there. Uh, so yeah, by the way, this is not sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. Um, so you are getting my honest opinions. Um, so I'm, yeah, I'm gonna put this stuff away and then next time we go to the bay or saltwater fishing, I'm gonna bring some of this, I'm gonna bring all this stuff along with me and uh, hopefully I can catch something pretty cool on there. So. Thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, stay tuned. Keep a lookout for that um, MTB Slam video that I might do soon. And uh, like, subscribe, share the video. Thank you all for watching. See ya. I can catch a fish, reel it on in. Take a little selfie to show all of